What is going on guys? Apathy here back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about AK-74U versus the MP5. Now this is a very big topic. A lot of you guys always ask me and you guys think, you know, one one of them are better. But today I'm going to be showing you guys which is the better gun, giving you guys some tips and showing you guys some important things. So let's go straight into it. First of all, I'm going to show you a very important thing. Now there's a big reason why the 74U is very good and one of the best SMGs. It's a one, two, three, four kill shot. One, two, three, four. So it kills four range with task force. It increases it to about almost 12 meters. So at about 12 meters, you will kill at four bullets every time, but it can kill in three bullets with the headshot multiplier. Three bullets right there. You could do one, two and a body shot. So you could do even two headshots and a body shot. And that's what makes the 74U so strong. Not only can it kill in four bullets, but it can also kill in three if you get some headshots, which is extremely fast. Now I brought out the MP5, this little bad boy, one of my favorite guns of all time, including the 74U. And now it's something about the MP5. So the time to kill is a little bit slower. We're gonna see here. We one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, two, three, four, five. So it's a five shot kill range. Now the range, it does have a little bit more range, I think, compared to the 74U, slightly, slightly a little bit more um, by a couple meters, but it is a five shot kill range. Now you can make the argument it does have a faster fire rate and it does, but the 74U technically still kills slightly faster. And that's why the 74U is technically better. And one thing to note about the 74U as well, it has more range, but not only, you know, cause there's other things and other factors that makes an SMG or a gun better, right? So now that we talked about the guns to kind of show the damage and damage range output, now let's go to some games and test them out and kind of get a feel for both of them. And, and during the video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I think which gun is better and what's so dominant about each gun. All right, guys, so we got some crossroad hard points for this one. We're going to be using the MP5. Now, the MP5 is one of the best guns up close. Now, we talked about the damage output. It does kill slightly slower than a 74U, but the can't deny the fact that the freaking finesse handling, the, the way the gun shoots up close is just so freaking good. So this gun is very, very good up close. Without a doubt, you cannot argue that. The MP5 is extremely good up close. And you can see the time to kill up close is phenomenal. Where is this guy? Oh, he's running away. Come back. And the maps like Crossroads, Garrison, all those type of maps, that's where the MP5 really shines. And we ended up joining this game halfway. Oh, they're on me. Oh, what? Oh, oh, Lordy. Reload, 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 slide. And you can just, you can just, so, whoa. You can just see the way I'm playing this map and the, the up close engagement, how everything feels so smooth. Oh my God, I almost beamed that guy. I'm a little twisted right now. I won't lie. I'm a little, oh little twist right now so i think they're honestly in a very close and even even level but there's a difference maker say hey apathy what's that you know they're both good smgs they're but what's the difference maker here well to be honest guys the 74 use task force barrel is a big reason why the 74 u becomes as dominant as it does the task four da damage barrel Gives you damage, which the only difference that damage does, that extra damage, all it really does, it makes, you can do two headshots instead of having to be three headshots. So you can do two headshots, headshots and a body shot to kill somebody. And that's, but the bigger things is the damage range increase and the bullet velocity, which is really, really good on the sub. Oh my God, I just got smoked by an MP5 <laughs> for the video, I guess. To like put it in perspective, I think the MP5 is really good up close. So is the 74U, you can't argue that. But I think the 74U has a little bit more range, but the MP5 has range too. So they both are very good overall SMGs. They're both very powerful. They both have, are very dominant in their aspect. But I think the difference maker, like I said, is that the MP5 is slightly better up close than the 74U. And the 74U is slightly better in range than the MP5. And that is the difference maker between the two. But when you add that task force barrel to the 74U, it becomes a little bit more of a beast compared to the MP5. That damage range and damage output to th two to three shot, like three bullet people, and increase the damage range to four shot kill even farther. It just makes it very, very good and strong at like closest to medium ranges. All right, guys, now it's time for the big boy, the 74U. 
God, I love this gun. No bullshit. This is like what in Call of Duty 4, this was one of my favorite guns. Like I actually love this gun. Oh lordy. Four bullet kill there. I think one was a headshot. That was about it seemed like a four shot. That's a four shot right there. So the 74U, in my opinion, and I mean if you watch pros play, if you watch pro scrims, pro anything, every pro is using the 74U for the most part on every map. The only other map you can argue is maybe MP5 on Crossroads and maybe Garrison, but the 74U, Lord, Lord, it is just a whole nother beast. And like I said, it's that task force that really is that game changer that really increases that range, makes it even better from range. And, uh, you know, 74U base damage range for the four shot kill. I think it's about 7.4 ish meters or something like that. So if you take into account 7.4 meters is about this far, that's a very little four shot kill range. But with task force, it goes up to like 11 point something. That is a big increase. So that is just so freaking good, man. And like I said, the task force is really re one of the reasons. <laughs> one of the reasons, baby. Car Ranger. See you later. Falco, see you later. You are juke. See you later. I think depression is still on our base. <laughs> so the funny thing is the 74U is better than MP5 with this specific attachment. The task force barrel is really gives it over the edge. So that's why I think it is better. Um, obviously the MP5, like I said, is still a very good gun and you could definitely use it if you like. But uh, just know the 74U is slightly better than MP5 in this current meta. Now, will that change? Yes, I think there is, um, obviously there's a new weapon. First of all, there's a new SMG coming, right? Oh no, I'm dead. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is the first very big update. So, I don't know. There could be some, some weapon tunings involved. Like there could be some nerfs, some buffs to certain guns. Like you can't, you can't deny the fact that that's a possibility because it's actually a huge possibility. So 74 is the best SMG right now, right? But what happens if it gets nerfed? What happens if the MP5 gets buffed or like any some gun gets buffed in this batch? So current meta, yes, 74U is the best SMG. I think it is the best SMG. Pros pretty much all agree it's the best SMG. Oh, this guy is cracked, Ricky Bobby. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Control that recoil, baby. Control that recoil. That's how you beam with these hard guns. Hello, depression. Nice to see you again, brother. But now that we're still using the 74U and on the note on the 74U, it's actually important to understand that 74U has one of the highest, and I think it is the highest for SMGs, bullet velocity. So bullet velocity is very important in guns in general, and especially in SMGs, because SMGs lack bullet velocity. You actually go to their stats. Uh, they all have a lot of low bullet velocity, so. 74U actually has the highest out of them all, and that's what makes it even shoot. Oh. Pretty much have really good bullet rag. The, bu the bullets, you know, what bullet velocity essentially is, is like technically how fast it, the, ba the bullets travel, right? So like how far this bullet gets from my point A to point B. The higher the bullet velocity, the faster it will get there pretty much. So the, like I said, SMGs uh, lack it, but this one has it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Because I know, I know someone's going to say in the comments below, Lordy, shoot back, brother. Destroyed you. Absolutely forked you. <laughs> but I know somebody's going to say it or bring it up, even though that kid is super sweaty. And he's probably going to call me a hacker or something. Um, but I, I did. I, okay, how would I start from this? No, I did not reverse boost. Because I know somebody's going to say, your lobby is so easy. Did you reverse boost? No, I did not. The lobby is easier than normal. I will agree with that. Sometimes I have extremely hard lobbies and sometimes I have these mediocre lobbies. It is completely random for me. I guess the, the, when you play a lot, it just happens. So no, I am not reverse booster. I do not like stooping to that level, but I hate SBMM. Oh, show. Okay, guys, very quickly, my AK-74U class. We got the muzzle break. We got the task force. Extremely important to have this barrel on for that maximum damage. We got the Spetnaz speed grip. You could also run the Spetnaz grip. Um, gives you a little bit more recoil control. I just love that movement increased speed. It's really good. We got the elastic wrap and the skeletal stock for that. And now moving on to the MP5. 
for the barrel we have reinforced heavy it's basically like a nerf task force you still get bullet uh velocity and damage range the problem is task force is kind of like a no-no on the mp5 for the underbarrel we got the speed grip again really good on subs uh for the magazine we got the 40 round drum but you can run the jungle style mag if you like for the handle we got the airborne elastic wrap and for the stock we got raider stock um it's just really good man all right guys to basically summarize the video the 74u is the better smg that might change soon but statistically and by the pro player knowledge um it's pretty much it's just it's stapled in the freaking pro community it is the best smg currently everyone uses it um you just got to use it if you're not you're kind of just using a worse gun and you don't want to use that so use it try it out have fun with it dominate with it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video a little bit different than what i usually do but it was a ton of fun to make and i love sharing the amazing guns with you guys and the best guns leave a like please it helps me a lot double like smash it do what you like with it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out you can check out my other videos if you like of course